So we added OneDrive to our file system using the typical approach of uh, using FTS to format the drive and treating it as a physical drive. Now, Linux has something called Logical Volume Management, or LVM. LVM is very, very similar to storage spaces in Windows. So the idea is we will have physical disks. Physical disks will be uh, grouped into uh, volume groups. <clears throat> those volume groups are from those volume groups and we'll create a logical volume and that logical volume can span multiple physical disks so it's kind of a way of abstracting and the really really cool thing about this is I can add an additional physical disk or more than one if I want and then I can add that to the volume group and then I can extend my volumes, my logical volumes, across those new disks. So it allows me to resize basically the file system that I'm working with. So I start out with, you know, 250 gigs of storage. Later on, I add a 500 gigabyte drive to it, add it to it, and then I can extend my drive, basically, my logical drive from the 250 to the 750 gigabytes. So it's really, really flexible and powerful. So let's talk about how we would do this. I'm going to do a fdisk-l. <clears throat> and that's going to list all of my drives. And you're going to see that um, down at the bottom, dev sdv, this is the one we did earlier, now has a partition on it. That's no longer available. But dev sdc still has nothing on it. So I want to create a... Um, um, logical volume, I want to use logical volume management to manage this. Now, if your system doesn't come with LVM pre-installed, you'll need to install LVM or uh, VLM, LVM, logical volume management editor at the first time. So <clears throat> once you do, then we can do PV create. It comes preloaded on Ubuntu Server 18.4, so we don't have to worry about it. PV create, so this is physical volume create dev SDC. And this just takes and adds SDC to our physical volumes that we can use for um, our volume groups. So if I do a PV display, spell display correctly, we're going to see that we have PV, the physical volume, dev SDC. It's not assigned to a volume group yet. Physical size 50 gigabytes. Okay, cool. Now it's not assigned to a volume group yet. So for that, we do. VG create. We're going to create a volume group. And we're going to name this VG dash storage. And we are going to put dev SDC into that group. So volume group is created. Now, if I do VG display, I'm going to see that I have a volume group named VG dash storage. It's LVM2 read and write the stack access is resizable and it's about 50 gigabytes because that's what i've got in there for physical volumes now if i do a pv display by the way i'm going to see the same thing but now it's associated with the vg name um vg dash storage okay that was cool now let's create a logical volume so we'll do lv logical volume create we're going to create a logical volume we're going to name it vol1 because, you know, we're being lazy and not being creative. So in name of vol1, we're going to set the size to 10 gigabytes. And we're going to uh, create it from vg-storage. So we're going to create a logical volume using vg-storage, vol1, 10 gigabytes. And we just created a logical volume. So LV display will let us see the LV display. There we go. We'll let us see the volume path, the logical volume name, the volume group, the UUID, read and write access, so everything related to it. And this is 10 gigabytes. Now, <clears throat> again, we have to format it. So it's mkfs, make file system dot ext4, for forward slash dev, forward slash vg dash storage forward slash vol1. And we see that from in our LV display, our logical volume path. 
and that will format that as uh, ext4. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and mount it, but I need to make a directory to mount it in. So mkdir forward slash uh, mnt forward slash, and we'll just call it vol1. And then now we're going to mount it that way using mount forward slash dev forward slash vg dash storage forward slash vol1. And we're going to mount it to forward slash vol1. We're going to mount it to mnt forward slash vol1. Uh, and that mounts it. Let's see if we can see it. df dash h. We have dev mapper vg. Now notice this is a little bit different. So our LV path, and you can see this by looking back at the top of your screen, LV path is dev vg dash storage vol1. But you also see this down here at the very end, dev mapper vg dash dash storage dash vol1. All right, that's the official name inside the mapper, which maps to that uh, logical volume. All right, you'll also see that this is about 10 gigabytes. Okay, cool. One of the benefits of logical volume management is that we should be able to extend our volume. So, and we should be able to do it without taking the system down. So here's how this works. It's LV extend, and I'm gonna extend the device named forward slash dev forward slash VG dash storage forward slash vol1 and I want to extend this by 100% of our free disk space. Now that's going to use everything else. It's going to extend this all the way. Um, <clears throat> that is, uh, that'll use up everything. So kind of got to be careful of that. If I had multiple disks, that would use all of it. But I can do this by percent free. I can use, do it by specific volume amounts. I can do lots of different ways. But size of logical volume changed from 10 gigabytes to 50 gigabytes. Cool. We just resize our logical volume. That easy. So if I do a df-h, uh, well, that actually still shows me as 10 gigabytes, not as 50. What gives? Well, what happened is we extended the volume. We didn't extend the file name or the file system. Let me extend the file system. Now for this, I'm going to need to find the full device name from the, um, the full device name is dev mapper vg dash dash storage dash vol1. I can also find this by doing an ls forward slash dev forward slash mapper. And that will show me all of them. vg dash dash storage dash vol1. So I'm going to resize the file system. So it's resize <clears throat> to fs. And then I'm going to specify that full path using the mapper forward slash VG dash dash storage dash vol one. And that should resize my file system. So now my volume was 50 gigs, but my file system was only 10. Now my file system should be 50 gigs as well. DF dash H and we see that is now a 50 gig uh, volume. So we have taken a drive, created it as a physical drive, created a volume group, and associated the physical drive with it for LVM. We have created a logical volume, and then we extended a logical volume and resized it, along with mounting. Now, this one is not gonna auto mount. <clears throat> and the reason it won't is because we haven't put it in the etcfs tab file yet. If we want it to auto mount, we do the same thing, that mount command that we used earlier, mount dev vg dash storage dash vol1 to mnt vol1, we would just add that to our uh, etcfs tab, and then that would auto mount. And remember, it's only things that are in there that will auto mount uh, when the system reboots. So there we go. We have set up a drive and a logical volume using logical volume management.